you probably still remember this reactor. And I'm going to redesign it because it's extreme garbage, because I designed it while not knowing anything about how RBMK reactors work. So first thing we will be doing is centralizing the cooling instead of there to not spend as much cooling thingies and also set it to max. Now only those interact with each other and those and we want every one to interact with each other and for that we are just going to remove them and replace them on the edges which makes this one interact with these two and this one with these this one with these and this one with these which makes that if one starts every one starts so next up i'm going to delete those i'm going to tell you later why and between those the flux doesn't get doesn't really get transported so we need at something that transports the flux and this also has a second effect that's really nice and that would be slowing down the flux which makes it actually usable by the fuel that we are going to use so i'm going to repeat it on every side and now the reason i left those is because i'm going to do the same on these sides to not let the flux escape and just if for example the flux goes like this it will get reflected go through here get slowed down and get used up in here and now the only thing we need is the cover panels and you can use uh, both types wherever you want but i'm going to do it like this and you don't need any in the middle since the flux only goes between here it doesn't go diagonal now what i built here is just a basic ultra dense steam processing line which gives you energy and water which you can just put back in here and like my old reactor you just need a thmu but uh, the best thing is you don't need to leave it in there and it even runs better if you don't so you just put it once in there to start it and those will now slowly heat up and with slowly i mean they will gain a bit of speed after some time and they should stabilize at around 740 degrees celsius and start producing energy over 600 degrees celsius as you can see the 600 degrees celsius is now reached which also makes it reach on the outside and now it's getting cooled and it's still heating up a bit but yeah it, it's starting to stabilize and we are getting energy now I, I put a bit more water in here than we actually need as like a buffer but it won't get used up you can see it's it's getting less but that's because the reactor is getting hotter but at some point yeah 756 degrees celsius instead of 740 my testing had some different results but yeah that's basically my upgraded design uh, i hope you like it i hope you like and subscribe to me uh no don't like to me that's wrong grammar anyways i hope i see you in the next video and bye cuties